Hello, my friend is welcome. Six graphics. My name is GDG6. Uh, we are continuing with our system database of our pharmacy inventory. So today, we are going to learn uh, or to check about uh, the expense uh, request, expense requisition, expense request. So let's I'll see first how we can we can build this expense okay and if you are a new one don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you are a return subscriber please thank you continue with this uh application so let me see here i have uh, I changed my scaling a uh, scaling of my window so that's why you see the this application is filling this window but expenses uh we, in this application uh we have this button called the expense prop i mean expense properties and we have uh, here in administration we have this uh, pending for approval as you see here i have the uh, uh, divided this uh, expensive prop and the uh, 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 pending for approval is on administration and the expense prop is on home uh, here in home because a, uh, a user this system has the, the um, accessibility accessibility uh, mean that uh, user cannot uh, access all of these details but at the mean or the owner can access the all the details of this uh, application that's why we have the home expense prop and we have the uh, pending approval in administration this is crucial here when we come to to uh, check how to make this uh, uh, main form a uh, navigation form okay let's go so a user must request uh, he or she want to request uh, expenses to the admin so we'll click here you just click here expense prop when you click the expense prop it will pop up this form xp prop okay you see here i have add new pending approval correction rejected and refresh and here we have the search bar okay i can say search textbox okay this uh apply for all of this uh module here okay so we have also uh a i can say a list box okay a list box which has the when i click for pending i will see the pending when i click for approved i will see the approved um expenses and when i see, i click for correction i will see the corrections and when i see for the rejected i will see the rejected we are going to check this form how to build this form and here when i click add new then it will pop this form which adds new or request a an expense with the save new undo and delete okay um that's so also after sending uh let me show you where, where the example here let me show you example here maybe this one then uh, click new first we click new then we load the user with the user the amount of for expense amount requested then we request this amount for what for clean list then we put the reason for this one maybe i can see uh, let me write on anything here then i will click save when i click save you see this um, here down here has been sent then in pending expense we will see the clean list is on pending approval okay you see the clean list is pending for approval i show you here you see this one it is a notification for the you have the um dependent expense then here you see this administration is has changed the the car the for the four car to uh red which um notify the admin that you have the pending to the pending expense to approve so you just had meaning you come here and click this one when you click this one you see this one here you have one pending for proof this uh, notification then the admin will click this one after clicking this one you will, you, the, the pending for 
the pending expense will be open this form so in order at the minute to upload this one just double click this okay after double clicking this one you see uh, you have this form approve reject or return send it for correction so you just uh, inspect this data okay inspect the data it's for expense category clean this okay uh, amount to be payable is uh, five thousand so you can deduct the amount so you can you can pay maybe you can instruct him to pay maybe to take only uh, 400 and then you see the balance uh, the main but the main balance is this one and they instruct you to uh, to take in cash maybe to take the this money in cash then just you see the description for the the user for this expense then you can approve when i approve this one will be will the 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 user will see the expense has been, have been approved and when i reject this one then the user will see the rejection of this expense when i click correct correction and the user will see the expense to need to be corrected so when i approve this one you see the form what please return for correction okay the creator uh, is empty the creator is empty creator on all the creator is empty okay okay because i am not logged in that's why created by is empty so we don't know who is created these uh, expenses that's why the uh, the app will reject this one and they try to, to 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 tell me to send it to for the correction so i will just send it to correction then here we have this expense need for correction so you see here we have no uh, any uh, notification then when we come here you see this uh, there is no red color here then the uh, user will click this uh, expense then you come to approve the there is no appro uh, approve expense so then when you come to correction you will see here you, you have the one for correction okay then double click this one then correct so for correction here it must detect the one who logged in that's why you see the 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 app uh, reject the uh, expense so just i'm going to log the in so it's like a, so let me go log the in okay like this one so i am coming to this oh, expense then a correction i have this one then i click this one then a, I will click correct here because this is out of field. You see, this is out of field. Field, please fill other fields. Okay, so I click collect. Oh, uh, but it's still in, in pending because I can't I can't uh, uh, add here anything. So let me delete this one. Then for pending approval, it is empty. So I will click new here. I will start. Uh, new uh, expense then a new uh, load the user and uh, the amount I put this five thousand then if for cleanliness then description is uh, maybe uh, environment okay then I will save this one I'm saving this one you see here uh, you see the 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 expense created by is here i am called uh, my name is richard mahendeka as logged in as richard mahendeka so that's why you see so when i come here to the administration then you, you see this one pending for approval then i click this one then i will see the pending approved i'll double click this one you see here we have created by then i will Put the amount to be paid so i put maybe four four then i instruct for cash okay then i will approve when i approve this one uh, the user will come here and check for approved you see it is already marked this one 
been approved but the total paid will be of uh, what four thousand okay also you can search here maybe for cleanless uh you can search you see you get the experts for cleanless okay that's how it works so let us go and check how to build this form so first of all we must have a free table the first table is called the expense t we have the expense t here expense t this thing there you go uh, design view we have the expense t and we have um uh, expense category t this one and we have the account payable we have the account payable account payable account payable account receivable account receivable where is account payable account payable account payable t okay design view so let us start with uh, expense category t so just to build the make the expense category uh, then the expense uh, type id is auto number expense type is short text uh, exp uh, create on is date and time uh, status short text uh, status date is date and time then created by uh, short text then save your table as expense category t after that and come to expense t and the expense t we have the expense id is short text we have the user id as, as number so we put, we put the, the look up then you look up for the expense uh, uh okay you just go and make a look up like this uh, maybe expense or expense then create the lookup then go to lookup wizard then uh, fetch the table expense the category expense category t this one then next then put uh, expense and the expense type like this one then next uh, arrange by expense type then next then you will see this one like this then you click next then finish okay like here when i click next then uh finish okay so you see here uh we this it is a number so the the way you can make this one is uh okay so here a user id just go and load for the uh, employee table go to look up for the employee table just drag employee id and employee name then click then it will appear as a number then auto amount is the current expense type then go to the uh, expense category t expense category t then drag expense category d and the expense type okay then it appears as a number here as you see here we have the combo box then a description is text the text short text expense here uh, expense months uh, cost center status status date and the expense date created by also be short text approved on date and time then after that save that table uh, you want to continue no 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 you want to save changes you know then go to the uh, create the another table account payable t then a p account payable id is equal to auto number then created on is equal to date and time Cost center is short text, document number is equal to short text, reference number is equal to short text, category is equal to short text, express ID is short text, then we have description, long text, uh, total payable uh, number, okay, it is a number here, uh, due date, date and time, um, paid amount number, balance uh, calculated so in calculated balance here we have uh, see here you get the total total payable minus paid amount total payable is here total payable minus paid amount here we put calculated just calculate expression is equal to total payable 
minus as you see here let me zoom this one total payable minus paid amount okay then the pay channel equal to short text okay the pay channel equal to short text then um paid paid on the date and time uh, status short text status date date and time that cre created by is short text okay then create a form a expense form like this one also the low source of this one is for expense t just click here they'll go to the that and load the expense t here okay then uh customize your form as you wish uh so here is the field for expense t then if you want to check this one go to the add existing fields and then check for the fields just to drag is me here uh you see here i have this one then format your uh, data as you wish here so here for me here it, for this data from this textbooks from cost center to the, the status date i have put this is out of field uh, out of field okay out of field text box so also i have a a through a, a pop-up message when somebody try to to click like this one you see here when i click this one you see the this is out of field field please feel other fields okay so to, to do that one they uh, just go and click here go to the property sheet then that event on click on click just put the message box like me here uh, this is uh is out of field fields okay just message uh, text bar, title info okay just put here okay here 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 until here okay until here then we have this uh, uh, uh image called the image trick we have uh, delete uh called the delete cmd delete we have this undo cmd undo we have cmd new and we have c uh, save okay first we start we start from delete okay from delete uh, we have on uh click on delete on delete we have this uh, uh code here okay uh, we deem str id as a string and we deem str sql as a string and if me dot status dot value is equal to pending for approve if the status here is pending for approve the status here down here status here if it is depending for approve then uh, if it is pending for approve then we delete the approve request so str id is equal to me dot expense id dot value and we set uh because uh we strsql equals to delete from account payable where expense id is equal to str id so here now um i want to uh tell you to first of all instead of starting from delete let us start from save okay we start from save but remember we have declared this uh str id here okay so just mark that one let us start from save button uh from save button uh save button on save here we have the uh record set okay we have the record set we put just the record to the account payable remember that's why on delete we refer to the account payable so uh, the activity as record set and the if me dot cmd dot caption is equal to edit now so we, the the caption if is equal to edit now then we delete the approved request sli id equals to me dot expense id dot value str id str str sql is equal to delete from account payable we did from account payable where reference num is equal to str apid because this is the field where the reference num is equal to str apid here the you see here reference num reference num is equal to me dot expense id 
that's why we delete for we refer for the difference of reference now okay so after that you do record set to the account payable we, we record set for the account pair set activities can't be the token record set what account payable the dynamic set and the dbc changes activity dot add new you see this is you know the the thing you know here so you just uh activity created on equal to now we put uh the, the, the today now today date then activity cost cost center equal to mid cost center so remember we refer the these feeds here uh, okay these feeds here to our account payable so the feed we uh feed uh, the detail here uh, the detail in this form will be sent to the account pair okay i think you know to to use the record set so you just use this record set like this one uh status say maybe status with value then we we update the table then we set activity is equal to nothing after all we have the tick there me dot c me dot image tick dot visible we put equal to true because the tick is not visible in the in default me dot cmd dot undo dot enabled is equal to false we undo we uh, we disable the cmd undo okay because you can't and you you can't undo uh, if you have saved the the detail then we put the we prompt, we prompt up the message box sent okay then we equal the form then we reference for our fields our 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 list box okay forms expense prop okay expense prop is the a list box a form of contain the uh, the list the list of approved uh, collected correction um, rejected so it is called the expense prop uh, okay then um, list we refer for the expense and we we have the list box called the exp uh, list pending expense request dot request so as you want to, when we set this then the data update automatically to the list box then we me dot cmd new dot enable is equal to true else if is new user dot user id dot value then a message box please select username so just here we we, we 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 check for the null value okay we check for the null value uh, then it means user set, set focus then user dot drop down as if if me dot cmd dot enable is equal to true then message box please create a new entry okay you see when the cmd dot cmd new dot enable is equal to true then you 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 put the please create a new entry okay by clicking new button okay so here you can exit the sub so as you somebody can then as if is no amount so just check the the new value of that uh, uh important uh field as you know how to check the new value i think you know now to check the new value but this is our code now to check for the new value you see and put the message to be prompted up then we exit the sub then we put else now else then me dot expense so those out of field fields we, we just fill those out of field fields expense id we formatted the expense id remember well, from the expense t the expense id well the the the, the data was short text okay short text so we ex we format the expense id is equal to me left we use the left function me dot user id dot column zero comma six you put six value from the user id okay user id six we choose six then uh we concatenate to this uh this underscore then format now and we put uh second and uh it's the minutes i think uh date and yeah then me dot cost center dot value is go to cost then hyphen me dot expense dot id value okay then this is a format okay just the format 
me dot upload on is equal to now then me dot expense here is equal to format you is format the year for this uh, this year then me dot expense so not expense like this I have mistake there but let us leave as this me dot expense dot value is equal to format now then you put a man name mini format now a month that is the month a month me dot expense dot value is equal to now Okay, created by is equal to a reference for the form. You remember our form is a navigation form, then we find for the text user dot value. Okay. Mail dot status dot value is equal to pending for proof. Pending for proof, then the status is equal to pending for proof. Then mail dot status dot value is equal to now. Then we save. Okay. Then after saving we we put we we we, we put the record set to the account payable. The saved records so you put this here was the delete when you delete you delete when you when deleting this one you delete then you, the, we put the record set to the account payable then you, when you save after saving then you put the record set to the account payable then you me dot image tick dot visible is equal to true then you me dot undo is equal to enable is equal to false message box digital sent Okay, saved it, then immediately required, then form expense prop list we required the list x list then me dot cmd dot dot enable is equal to true. So let us test test this one, okay? Let us test this one. So this is the code. We have record set here after delete. When we delete, we set the record set and uh we check for the new value here we check for the new value then we exit the sub after checking the new value then we we fill the auto fill text box after that we let we put the record to the account payable saved record to the account payable then we uh, enable the image and the same the same visible image to visible we we make the tick visible we make the uh, cmd to be enabled equal to false then we put the pop this we pop up the message then we equal then we we equal also with the the list pending uh list box setting so let us test this one okay let us go and test this one so remember uh uh we have in the list we have this here see this one when you click add new this is the form this is pending this is the list box and this is the form named is prop i think the prop what so you see here when i will click save when i click save you see please create new entry by clicking new button because there is no new data here so when i click save it will prop up the message please create a new entry by clicking new button when i click new button you see the new button it is disabled to uh, guide you uh, not to click a new button twice then when i create the um, the what the expense here maybe for food uh it's maybe for employee food employee or guest okay then uh you see here i will maybe, let me i'll click save okay because the form is on uh on what on design view let me go and make it yeah. then the expense group then um add a new uh new then you put this one and the amount is maybe this one and this for food um then it's for employee maybe for employee then uh, here it is out of field so just click save 
when you click save you see uh the detail uh fill out automatically okay filled automatically so then you click okay detail sent so you remember the this form has been required you see it is re required and the undo it is disabled also the uh this record has been equal to this list box here you see here we have food uh, this expense here after closing we have this one expense here so you see the require reference form and this will be so we must uh, you must have this form then we go and create this form that's why first of all just just to create that form then this form we follow so let us check let us continue to check this one so you go to delete now on delete so you have oh what okay design view and put this into design view then we have on delete here delete okay delete uh, first of all we deem this one because we use this one to save if me dot status is dot value is equal to pending to approve if the status is equal to pending for approve then we can delete this uh okay strip id me dot expense id we will find for the me dot expense id then str square we delete it from account payable because those details are in account payable we we delete from account payable where expense id is equal to strp id because strp id is equal to me dot expense id dot value okay then you can't do the bd we execute what this one sql 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 do cmd we save then we reference forms expense prop list pending up dot request then do cmd dot cross form expense prop dot list pending at request dot okay then message box operation about it if okay else message box operation about it so let's see let's see this one okay um come here um and prop then we have this one double click this one you see we have delete here we have deleted this one so we want to delete this one because it is pending proper we will be we will delete this one and here you see uh there is no save it is edit now okay i think you understand what i am instructing you here to do so when you double when you 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 double check you are uh, requested expense as a user you will see thing like this when you double click this one you see here you see delete and do new and edit now okay don't mind this one this is another thing for the currency exchange but we will see it later so here when i click edit now it will be sent to the uh to this uh pending uh for approval but when you 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 edit anything here maybe i can maybe check this one i change this to this one and then i edit this one it will be sent and when you come here you see it is i can't pay with total pay with is five thousand but when you want to delete so we must check first for the if this it is edit now you remember uh here uh, there when you see the cmd delete it equal to delete caption dot caption is equal to delete now then you must delete there so when you click this one you see it is gone okay that's all that's what i what we do so um uh, let us go and check this one also okay so we still have this one a new we we have oh, what a new here we have if not null me dot cost center dot value then you are you are in edit mode you can't you cannot edit you can't perform this action 
remember we check for the middle cost center if it is no if it is not no then we can't add new because we are in edit mode i think you understand let me show you here uh let me do this let me show you here um expense prop add new mm, we create new and then here we select the the use of this uh maybe it's uh, this one then here we select maybe for this one and uh, west then here it will feel auto save then i save this one okay so you see we have this uh pending uh, uh pending when we click here in pending we see this one in approved we see this one in pending here you see we have waste disposal this day okay so le if you you double click this one you mean you are in edit you are going to edit or to delete when i double click this one you're going to edit or delete but if you click new here you see you are in edit mode you can't perform this action so if you want to create a new you just go and click add new here okay you see then here you can you can create new i think uh, you understand uh, what i mean here is which action to be followed after this action here what we do is when you are in edit mode by, uh, by double clicking this one when you click this one when you're in edit mode pending ed double click this one you are in edit mode you see here uh, edit mode and the form it is edit mode you can't add a new okay i think now we are clear now here so in undo here we and the uh, code we put the made it undo or we could put the undo so after sending this uh, request as we said earlier uh, require the person to approve the the the, the, the expense we approve then you will find this uh, expense here uh, later on i will put some notification to these uh, buttons here so as the user will know the expense has been approved for now for maybe uh, the i can put the 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 notification for the day uh, expenses okay uh, if the lands to another day then the expense will the the, the 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 notification will disappear here so this will help the user to no my my expense has been approved so let me go and check if it is mine then i'll go and uh, complete my my request rejected also collection also that's why so i'll put some uh, notification to this button so it's uh, one no they rejected and corrected for now it is there so this is uh that form so let us continue now we are going to check for this uh, uh this form or this form expense pro so i will show you in demonstration for the next tutorial thanks for watching my name is richie six welcome six graphics and don't forget to subscribe like and comment